Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, I took a little break, not really, just from videos, uh, cause, uh, school was very stressful and I didn't have time to do all that, so the model I did work on, I just worked on a little bit here and there, uh, I'm just still working on it cause I'm slow. Anyways, but I'm gonna do another Gundam. It is, let me get it right here, it's Gundam GNX from uh, Gundam 00. Uh, it's, it's Master Grade as you can see. Um, but it's, I really like the design on these, um, even though they are considered a mass manufactured mobile suit. Uh, I still... I really like the design on it, uh, and everything about it just is really, really nice. A lot of, and a lot of the, the Gundam Double O stuff is really nice. Uh, it kinda is too bad the show sucks, but that's Bandai, so uh, what are you gonna do about it? Anyways, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something a little simple with this one. I mean, not really. I just mean. I'm not going to do a lot of heavy modifications. I kind of, I actually really want this to be nice and clean. Uh, that's the kind of the look I'm going for. You can kind of see, I kind of want to be like the box art where you can see the lines are very crisp, um, points. I want, I want things, I'm like, I want things to come to points and stuff like that. Um, and mainly I want to do that because I think it's going to look better for this kit than doing some fancy shading work or anything like that. I mean, and something I always want to stress is you don't you don't have to over like overthink things. You don't need to put a bunch of detail everywhere. There is a magic of having the right amount of detail in the design to make it really striking because over detailing is just it's way too it draws your eyes in. It's really distracting. It can really ruin a kit. I mean, not that I haven't. I mean, I've seen good kits that have lots of, like intricate detail and stuff like that, and that's really nice. But also, it's all placed very strategically, and also those people have been doing it for a lot longer than I have. Anyways, also the other reason I want to keep this one a little bit simple is the next kit I'm going to do was going to be a diorama of a 135 scale uh, BTR-80A, I think, the Soviet APC, I think it's the 80th, 80, 80A, yeah, okay, anyways, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna have to do, make a diorama of that, so I didn't want to take, I don't want this to take up a lot of time, um, which, I mean, it, it kind of will, because the GM, there's a lot of parts, I mean, and MG, uh, Master Grade, I'm sorry, uh, but, yeah, it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be really. It's gonna be a really nice kit. I really like the design. It's gonna be fun. Just open this up here. Got the instruction manual. Keep this handy. Even though there are scans on the internet, you want to have a copy of this on hand because you don't wanna. You don't wanna get your laptop or something when you wanna find out how to make your kit. All the parts look nice. Um, oh yeah, they like Bandai. They switched to AB, ABS for a lot of the ball joints, which sucks. But again, it's Bandai, so uh, what are you gonna do about it? Oh no, there there's a there's a fair amount of um, uh, joints in here, PC joints in here. So I won't be too bad. I've seen I've seen some other ones that are pretty bad. Uh, this isn't this looks pretty good. Uh, and here you see already okay. got some stickers and stuff in here. Let's see what we got. stickers, throw them away, toss it, 
get out of here. Uh, these are rub-ons. These are, these are actually really nice. Uh, keep these. More stickers. Throw these away. Don't bother. Just don't. It's not, it's not worth, it's not worth the ugliness that I put on there because it just, it really, you can see the stickers and they never, they never stick on very well. You always, they're always raised and you, and even when you put a nice, like, coat, top coat on it, you spot them instantaneously. And it's just, it's really distracting. And I, I feel like, I mean, if you're starting out, great, use the stickers. But if you want to do, if you want to go beyond that, you got to throw them away. Just, just toss them. Don't think about it. You see a thing of stickers, take them in your hand, go with a trash can, and throw them away. And of course, speaking of decals, uh, I went ahead and bought some custom-made ones. Uh, uh, oh, you probably can't, won't be able to see the white ones, but all the, all these up here are white. The rest are uh, silver. But yeah, it got a bunch, uh, bunch of decals in this sheet. Really nice. Uh, I'll provide a link uh, down below or an annotation or something like that of where you can. Uh, find this guy that does these. I, I'm, I'm using this guy for a while now and he just makes great stuff. Details, decals are great. Um, but anyway, so yeah, gonna have gonna have these which will replace uh, probably uh, probably a lot of these. Uh, I might I might use a, I might still use a few of these. I mean, I mean these are these are still pretty you know useful. Uh, but these are a little. But these are a little. Decals are water slide decals are a little more forgiving because you can kind of move them around when they're still wet. Whereas the dry decals, you're kind of, kind of screwed if uh, you get it off just a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I'm probably yeah. Well, we're not gonna be. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of things um, right off the bat. So I'm probably just gonna do a straight straight build. And then we'll go back and uh, do the modifications that I want to do, uh, and then go from there. All right, let's start cutting up some spruce. <laughs> So you know why, do you want to know why I hate ABS plastic? Well, the thing is, it's a different type of plastic than what you usually have on the kit. And it's kind of, it's kind of rubbery, it's really like wax, it's not, it has a waxy sheen to it, it's not, it's not tacky or anything, but it definitely looks like it was made of wax or something like that. But anyways. The problem with this stuff is, 
is this plastic cement does not work for it. Plastic cement will not melt this ABS plastic. Therefore, the whole reason why people use this and not just super glue is irrelevant. So now you're left with having to resort to good old fashioned super glue. I buy the cheap stuff since I, uh, it keeps drying. Well, I live in Arizona, so it dries out to me in like a second. So I, I, I just buy the stuff at the dollar store or whatever. It's all the same, really. Like, don't, don't over, don't overspend on that. Um, but so you end up having to use this to, to glue these type of parts together and they don't remove, they don't, it doesn't, it doesn't do what plastic cement does, which is melt the plastic, um, plastic and, it, and makes it fuse, fuse the parts together. So actually like on a molecular level, they, they it binds to, from one part to the other part. Super glue just puts a polymer in between it that gets rock hard and it sticks. Um, and so you you end up having having the molding line, the part lines, and the where you seam lines, stuff like that. That all stays because it's not actually melting anything. So you have to go back and sand all that down. And it's it's really it's not that much of an inconvenience, but like really like it serves no purpose, and it's really just a cost cutting measure by Bandai. For um, to do this, I mean, there's some like ABS plastic, like here where you see the ball joints are right, right here. Um, it actually is pretty well with that because it, it allows allows it to be a little more slick in the movements, a little, and it's a little less hard, which that's nice. But I mean, why do why do these parts right here? Why do these parts have to be ABS plastic? Why why do parts that have nothing to do with joints? be ABS plastic where it really it just it's just it's really frustrating but it's Bandai so there is nothing you can do but I just thought I should tell everyone and explain why pe people modelers especially don't like ABS plastic is because this doesn't work and you're left with using super glue and it just it doesn't look as nice.